Pitch on its way now to Zunino. Takes this the other way to right. Henniger is there to put it away for route number one. Opportunity now to look at some of the future plans for this Mariner organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Digging in and looking for more, Eric Thames. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. From the belt, the pitch. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And it's gone. So a three run shot to right center field and his power surge continues and even 60 for him on the year as the blowout continues. Well you could see how pure his swing is and that's why he's able to hit an incredible 60 home runs this season. Might as well start engraving his name on the MVP trophy because he's having a year for the ages. Witnessing history folks now battle. The designated hitter. In now, Daniel Robertson. Robertson. As he grounds one briskly to short. On to first, and there are two down. The batter, number one. Shortstop, really. Adama. Coming to the plate now, Willie Adamas. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the stretch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Henniger is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So they score four times on just three base hits. One error in the inning and no one left on base. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Rays are out in front, 11 to nothing. Malik Smith, the next to hit. Both for one for him here in this one. The center fielder, Malik Smith. First pitch on its way. Grounded to the right. Wendell is there. A play at the plate. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Now batting. Hey, right listen, D. Rowe, they're not going to complain at all. A base hit is a Hedder. base hit, even though that's an infield single. And hopefully, that's a good sign that things are about to turn for them in this one. Yeah, there hasn't been a fight at the bat rack, per se, Dan, in this one. I don't care what knock. I don't care if it's a swinging bun or a home run into the streets. This could get the offense going. Mitch Hanniger is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1 and 0. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. Edwin Encarnacion now. Designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice, and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves. If they don't start putting balls in gaps, this guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Now the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. 
Oh man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the, the last couple of games. That's his base. fifth strikeout oh, in this yeah. series alone. So he clearly leaves. this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Next in at the plate is Ryan Healy. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A ball and a strike. Smith at second with two down. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. The one two. And he fouls this one off. And a sinker there, swung on and missed for out number three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. At the plate, Kevin Kiermaier. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time Kevin. around. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. Hang on. This is hit deep into right center. This looks to have enough and it does a home run. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game as this lead got even wider. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Now batting, the first baseman. G Into the box, G-Man Choi. He swings and grounds it to short. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Now batting, second baseman, Joey Wendell. Ready for another chance? Joey Wendell. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Here's a drive out to left center field. And this is going to get to the wall now out near the Mariner bullpen. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and the that's exactly what five. he gets right here. That A belt high pitch, he nothing. drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. At the plate, Matt Duffy. And this is just the eye test talking here, but this reliever looks fatigued to me. Doesn't seem like his stuff is really effective right now. Yeah, I can't disagree with that, Matty. He's allowed a couple of runners to reach here in the inning, and the command just doesn't seem to be there anymore. I got to think they're going to turn to a bullpen option very soon, if not right away. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. And the second run will score as well. Man, I haven't seen an offensive explosion like this since I don't know when. It's been a combination of spotty pitching and inconsistent defense. And now they posted an amazing 14 runs on the board. Now at the play, Tommy Pham. He singled his last time up. From the belt, the pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they will not get it out on the play as he beats the throw to first, and there are two on to start the inning now. 
Right. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Stepping in now, Mike Zanino. Zanino, a drive. That's out to deep left field. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Dear, I don't know what you think, but this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there right now with four bombs already in this one. Yeah, this lineup from top to bottom has power. Swung on, and this one's driven in the air as well to deep right field. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second of the game as the blowout continues. Standing in now, Daniel Robertson, as he will line this one into right center, and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. And they'll keep it going here as he's in with a double. And the streak is alive. As you can see on the graphic, he creeps ever closer to the big number 56. Amazing what this guy has been able to do. Think about the pressure every day he gets to the ballpark. Members of the media asking about the streak. Can you keep it going? Is he looking forward down the line? Amazing how he's been able to concentrate through all of this. Yeah, and how it affects everyone else around him because everyone's pushing for him to get a knock every night. You can't lose sight of trying to win ball games, but man, the focus of our attention is squarely on this play. The center fielder. Trying to Kevin. pick things up where we left off. Kevin Kiermeyer is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Looking up is Hanniger. Gone! A two run blast to straight away right field his third home run of the ball game as this lead got even wider. Well in hockey they call it a hat trick hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. He's having an afternoon he'll never forget. Now batting. The first base. Into the box now. G-Man Choi. Choi. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. Gone. Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Unbelievably his 80th of the season as they just continue to pour it on here. One more time. He gets a pitch to handle. You have heard that before. And you can add one more home run onto this already impressive number. Now back. In now, Joey Wendell. Joey. Line Wendell. drive to center field. Smith is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting the third baseman Matt Duffy. At the plate Matt Duffy he's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest.
First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. 